Hello friends, welcome back. This is our part 2 tutorial of AIB analog input block. Okay, by clicking the block, it's open the editor of that block. So, we still didn't make any logic here. You we can create a logic to make the out by using the linear line equation of that input signal int. Before we convert the input signal 4 to 20 milliamps to our process value, we need to check that this input signal is ok or not. Siemens, Siemens divided the input value the count integer value in some range that I will write here in paint here minus 4864 sorry 64 dot dot to minus 1 that value Siemens call it as a low range low range ok and 0 to 27648 Siemens call it as a nominal range nominal range that we already use that integer value to convert the analog input 4 to 20 milliamps to our process value ok but our value could be less than minus uh, less than 4 milliamps maybe uh, 3.8 3.9 milli uh, ampere so in that case it will be negative value so Siemens Mm, define that minus 4864 to minus 1 it's called the low range and 0 to 27648 call it as a nominal range and 27649 to 32511 it's called high range high range and more than more than 32511 more than 32511 call over range or over run over range or over run over run in other case it's called the uh, it's called uh, power failure or wire break so in that case the value will be negative more negative and that value will come when there is no power supply to the device or no milliamp signal in our input module so in that case the value will be more negative than 4864 so in that case we will call it as a wire wick other so will uh, other than this signal value will call it as a wire wick will not write will not write we will not write it as a range will directly will not write as range ok range will will directly call it as a wire break or power failure power failure ok so we will check the signal input signal 4 to 20 milliamps by using this integer value ok now here to check the signal we will use the case instruction 
case of instruction okay so we need some variable to here that nominal range for that nominal range we need to create track alarm variable so here i will write here i will write some variable in static okay the static will not show here the signal the variable we define in static will not show in input or output only input output and in out input will show here as the input parameter output will show as the output variable show here and the input in and out here in and out the variable you define here it will show here as a input okay and that variable you can use for input as well as the output but the output you cannot use you should not use in as a input you can use that out variable as a input in fb but for function block when you create a function fc block you cannot use the fc uh, out variable as a input so better you have to use a third variable that will use in input or output so here i will use as a and uh, that low range that is our bool boolean tag another is high range nominal range is not alarm so we will not create the nominal range alarm low range high range over range over range range okay here range okay and here i will write it as a wire break and that is the power failure wire break okay wire break so we will use the case instruction for creating that low range high range over range wire break alarm okay here i have click on the case this one it show it uh, create the instruction like this so here case of means this is our variable we want to verify this signal which signal the variable name and our variable name is input in in our variable so here i have to write it as in okay in okay so this is our in and the what is our case case first case our minus the input value of in that in value minus 4864 to minus 1 this is our first first case okay in that when the in value is in between this range or equal this range in that case which alarm we want to create we want to create low range alarm and that will be true okay and second is high range high range and that we want to make as a false because we create the alarm for low range okay here as over range or over run and that will also be false and 
another alarm that is called wire break or power failure that also be false so when when the input value in in between that integer value that time it will create the lorentz alarm and other alarm will not generate okay this is our first case second case will be here i will write second case second case will be 0 to 27648 that value we already use when we convert the analog input scaling when we create an analog input scaling function that time we have used that range okay in that range here you can write the quotation that nominal nominal range and here you can write the low range okay and in that just copy and paste here okay paste here the in that range in that case 0 to when in value in between 0 to that there is no alarm so all the alarm should false okay and third case and third case is i will copy and paste okay third case will be okay okay third case will be the value two seven six four nine two three two five one one okay and that range will be as the high range Siemens call it as a high range okay and that case our high range signal will be true okay here then uh, other than this three condition we'll write the we write the instruction in else instruction okay so in that case we'll write that if the value not within this range here we'll write it as a if instruction that if if in value greater than in value greater than that 3 to 5 double 1 then here then it is called the over over range or over run over range or over run it's called over run then if the value greater than that 3 to 5 1 1 that in value our input signal more than the integer value then it will show it as a over range and in that case we will write here this one will be false so over range will be true okay over range will true and uh, in if instruction we can write another else instruction in that if instruction not the else instruction of case we will write here else that else that Lorentz false this one will false okay here this one will be true you understand right that here int if 
okay and if i have write that if the value not in that range if the value input range is in between that range then it is called high range and that time it will true and other alarm will not true it will false and this is not the range this is a single value more than that 3 to 5 1 on that input signal if more than that it will be true as a over range okay so we have not used the range we have used the greater than okay if the input value this uh, more than 3 to 5 1 so in if in instruction we can use the else in instruction that if the input value not within that range this one this one or this one it will be wire break okay okay then in here it will close the if in instruction and this in instruction will case instruction will end here okay case instruction end by end case so this is how we can use the case instruction to check the input signal okay this is for today uh, next day we will convert the input to our output and later we will use the input high range high low range that we have uh, give a limit and by this limit we will create the alarm okay thank you